Target Boats offers many different sizes within their range. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 27.2 and all the things that you can put into this boat. So we're gonna start our tour on the aft end of the Targa. And this is gonna be giving me an opportunity to talk about some of the engines that you can choose on this particular boat. Targa does offer many different options depending on your use case. So if you see something on this Targa or you don't see something on this Targa and you are wondering if they can be installed, they likely can do it at the factory. They do a fabulous job working on personalizations to build a boat for you. And that starts with power plants. So this particular boat has a single D6 Volvo engine in it. You can cruise uh, in the 30 knot range and you're getting around 2.4 nautical miles per gallon. So with the diesels, you can get about 300 nautical miles on a single tank of fuel with this boat carrying 140 gallons of fuel. So pretty awesome range for a pretty sweet little package. Uh, when you do get the diesels, you also, of course, can maintain your swim platform. And this is the standard size swim platform. You can get a slightly extended one if you wish, but this gives you the ability to have this wonderful gate system getting you access to the water or to your tender. Coming up in the aft cockpit, you can also see with this particular boat that you have a flybridge. You can get this boat with a flybridge or a non-flybridge, depending on your use case. If you go for a non-flybridge, you can get a door that enters aft as well. But when you go flybridge, you have access to the cabin on the side doors. Similar to Targa fashion, you have these line lockers in here that give you good storage for uh, some lines and uh, your shore power cords. Of course, on the transom, you've got your fender holders if you want those, but you also have hot water shower. So this is a nice open space. You also have these seats that pop up here. And as I've mentioned in some other videos, the seating aft here gives you a really nice aft focus. When you're sitting here having some cocktails in the evening, you can really enjoy the views facing aft. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna take a quick look up at the flybridge and talk about that. So sitting at the helm hill, this is really a fun place to run the boat. You've got all the basic stuff that you need in order to operate safely. Chart plotters, bow thrusters, trim tabs, throttles, wheel. Overhead, I've got a nice radar arch as well for all the extra equipment that you want on board the boat. This would be a great position while underway making way. In a docking position, I don't know that this would be a place that you would, that you would run the boat from. Um, I guess from a seated position, I can just see the handrails for the for the bow stainless work. Um, if I stand up, I can uh, just barely see the bow of the boat. So this is more of a underway, making way, at speed, really fun place to run the boat. For docking and close maneuvering, that's what down below is for. And let's go off and have a look at that area. And just like target fashion, you have a really nice wide side decks to easily and safely get forward to the boat. And with a 27.2, you have a really great bow seating area here, which is a fun place to sit, both while underway and at rest. Because you've got these nice high bulwarks with the uh, gates that close aft on the transom, having dogs or little kids running around even while underway feels like a really safe thing just because the bulwarks are so high and no one's really going anywhere. So this is a real safe and substantial feel forward up here on the bow. And underneath here, there's just a lot of storage just in general all over the place. As you can see, there's this deck fitting, similar to the deck fitting aft in the cockpit uh, for a table that the table lives just right in here. Cheek table with a, with a leg pedestal. And you can see a bunch of extra storage in there as well. Um, and you also have just general good storage in here. And you can do things like adding extra refrigeration up here or whatnot, depending on what you want to do. And then off the port here, this particular boat has some propane, um, a protein, propane cooktop. So this is your propane storage area and just a little extra storage as well. You, I would say you can seat easily five or six people up here on the bow and not feel too cramped. Um, and also you would have your anchor stored right forward in here. But yeah, definitely a nice comfortable place to hang out and pretty sweet for a 27 foot boat. But now let's go have a look in the pilot house and sleeping accommodations. And going through the side decks onto the, into the pilot house, you port and starboard, you have these nice sliding doors to get into the cabin. 
Good headroom, of course. Everything feels nice and, and spacious for, particularly for a 27 foot boat. Um, and forward here next to the dash, you've got a little sink and your propane cooked up in here. And this is just a little galliette area with just general storage uh, for pots and pans and cutlery and whatever else you may need for your exploration. And this, I would say this dash area is very typical Targa with just some nice storage underneath here and a nice workable dash, all with a dashboard that you can nicely configure. And I'll get into that in a little bit later. If you come into the cabin, you've got this seat that can pop up here. Sitting across the length of this seat here, you could probably sit four people. And then you can sit one or two people in this seat here. So, and this chair can also spin around as well. So you can really see quite a few people in and around this, this table area. And of course, underneath the helm seat, you have a refrigerator and easy access for everyone to get to. Forward, uh, we'll just check out the head real quick. So you open up these doors here and lift up this top to get into the head. It's a very good size head. I am six foot and I would say there's probably uh, five feet, 11 inches of headroom in here. They also put a couple hooks in here. So this would be a nice, you know, wet locker as well. Um, you do have a shower nozzle right here, hot and cold water pressure, just general storage. This, these particular folks chose to do a, uh, a manual Jabsco head, but you can do electric, all depending on what you want to do, uh, fresh water, salt water. And of course there is some ducting for the S-Bar cabin heater and the bus heater off of the engine. So um, you can nicely heat this area up, keep those wet clothes dry, all that in the uh, in the winter time which is really nice aft into this sleeping area back in here of course you lift up this the seat to get access to the aft sleeping cabin and this cabin back here is very large actually it's impressive i probably have gosh i don't know six eight inches of headroom above me right here um, you've got a really cool just little storage area in here for hanging uh, clothes and whatnot um, and then you've got a berth off to port for two people and then off the starboard you have a very long berth so long that you could sleep two people six foot facing aft and then feet facing forward and so you could theoretically sleep up to four people down here in this space if you wanted to but then to port you have a very good sized berth you've got opening window ports in here um, diesel heat uh, providing heat in this space as well this is a really great and surprisingly large space for this boat it's when you get down here it's almost shocking how much space you have to work with last thing we'll just run through is just the dash that you have on the targa um, the targas all have a fairly familiar dash layout very much so focused on running characteristics and practicality for boating being a nice driving position while standing and having a little bit of a leaning post and also a nice space to sit down with your feet up on these foot uh, rests here and the helm uh, down here so you have a really nice driving position depending on how far of a run you want to do go. Um, this particular boat just has their standard seat, but you can also get a shock absorbing seat as well. In general, I just love the ergonomics and the ease of handling this boat, particularly by yourself, because you have these sliding doors next to the helm and nice and wide side decks to easily tie up a breast line. Running this boat by yourself would just be very easy and low key. And I love that about all the Targas. Then finally, we'll take a look into the engine space and see what's going on in here. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the D6, so single D6 engine is most commonly put into these boats. This is the D6 440, the biggest horsepower. So again, cruising in and around the, the 30 knot range. Um, but with the diesel engine, what that gives you the ability of is producing hot water, producing cabin heat through the bus heater, having a ro robust charging system, having a stable fuel system, uh, giving you additional weight really down low in the boat as well. So there's lots of wonderful benefits to having a good strong diesel engine propelling a good solid boat like this. Um, but also for the, the electrical side of things, Target does a really nice job simplifying and labeling all their electrical runs and electrical components. So these are your service and start battery banks. You can do emergency crossover if you need to. This is a charger, battery charger right here fuses 
um, service battery bank, start battery banks. Um, so everything is fairly well uh, easily labeled and um, much more easy to understand as well. So this will conclude the walkthrough tour of this Targa 27.2. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us using the information below this video.